Good morning, biology students. Today, part of your lab is to go outside and find some beautiful flowers. You could get daffodils or tulips, dandelions, whatever you see outside. Pick four different kinds of flowers. Now, composite flowers are flowers like dandelions. It's not obvious that they have the um, pollen and stamen in them. So make sure you get a variety of flowers, bring them inside, and get to cutting. Da, da, da. I'm using a paring knife because I don't have a scalpel at home. This works fine because it's nice and sharp, but nice sharp knife so you can just do a quick cut in your flower to open a cross section of it. Make sure you use a cutting board and cut safely as always. And when you cut it open, you're going to be able to see the parts of the flower very nicely. Your lab sheets are attached in the assignment section of your labs, of your website. Right here, we're going to record just regular flowers. You're going to decide, is it a perfect or imperfect flower? How do I know? Well, you're going to look at the inside of your flower and see, does it have an ovary? Does it have an ovary? It's the bulgy part right here. Does it have a stigma? This tall part right here in the middle, it's sticky. So you're going to look for those parts. Circle, is it complete or incomplete? Then label all of your parts. Just look at this diagram and fill in whatever parts you can see. If it's missing, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. Just label the parts that you are able to see. Right here I have a description of the different parts and what they do, just as a little help for you. Down in the bottom here I have different shapes of pollen because after you've dissected your flower and made a beautiful sketch of it, you're going to look at the pollen and see if you can see what shape it is. If you have a magnifying glass, feel free to use that. I find that for mine, this cutting board is particularly sticky, so it actually is able to show me my, you can't see them on the camera, but there's a little bit of yellow on my cutting board, so this would be a really great place to see it. And also the orange flower is nice and bright, so I can see that I have oval-shaped pollen on here. So go ahead and describe the color of your pollen. If you can see what shape it is, describe what shape it is. Now make sure if you go through lab and you've watched this video that you let me know that you're still with us. I know some of you turning labs in is not quite something that you're really on up on. So at least have your folks say, I did this or email me directly and let me know that you've completed the lab and you just haven't sent the sheet in yet, that's okay. But just let me know that you're keeping up on things because we are getting so close to the end of the year. We only have two more weeks. So I hope you're getting excited about that. Now, if you have not told me that you are just dying to dissect a frog or a perch, this is your week to tell me because on Friday we will be allowing you to come pick them up either from Henrietta, from Mrs. Dreyer's house, or from the Brockport area, either at my house or somewhere near here. So either Brockport or Henrietta is where we're going to be doing a pickup. You'll get a bag with your fish, a bag with your perch, uh, frog, excuse me, a dissecting kit and tray to borrow. We don't want the frog and fish back, but the dissecting tools and trays you'll just need to bring back if you do need to borrow those. All right, please feel free to email me if you have questions or call. You guys are doing great. You're a great bunch of students. I hope you have a wonderful day picking flowers and that your family is staying safe. Bye for now. See you next time.